D. Krause here, and the book today is Mary Doria Russell's Epitaph. Mary Doria Russell has written two of the top ten science fiction books of all time, The Sparrow and its remarkable sequel, The Children of God. If you have not read either of these, be off with you and do so right now. You need to know how extraordinary she is because her subsequent books, well, mixed. A Thread of Grace, meh. Dreamers of the Day, eh, not bad. Doc, bit of a disappointment. So I went into this one fairly certain it would be another of her books that couldn't quite reach Sparrow levels, and nope. I mean, yep, it does. It's good. Whew. Epitaph is the follow-up to Doc, and in my humble opinion, does better service to Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp and the whole tombstone cast of unsavory characters we've all come to know and love. The book focuses on the OK Corral fight, and trust me, any illusions or allusions you had about that event and the people involved will be effectively dispersed by the time you finish. There are no heroes here. Not a one. Turns out Wyatt and Doc and the Clantons were simply regular people who reacted badly to each other and made stupid decisions and got themselves all shot up for avoidable reasons. Certainly not heroic ones. Yes, yes, I know, this is a novel, and drawing such conclusions does not, doesn't have textual support. Except Russell researched the bejesus out of this one. And the only difference between this novel and a history is the point of view. Obviously, Russell could not know what Wyatt was thinking in one scene or another, but the setup is so accurate you have no problem accepting her take. And her take is going to make you reevaluate some things. For instance, Wyatt. He's not that bright. Just isn't. His legendary taciturn and sparse manner is due more to slowness than machismo. He's what we like to call basic, and not much of a strategist. His brother Morgan is the ebullient one, the quicker of the brothers, and the one who history should regard more favorably. So why doesn't it? Two words, Josie Marcus. She was Wyatt Earp's mistress and lover, and a dynamic woman who took no guff and stood by her man with a ferocity that I've long admired. Except after reading this, Josie doesn't come off all that wonderful. She's actually quite the jerk whose main role in all this was creating and sustaining the Wyatt Earp legend primarily by beating his biographers into the ground. The Wyatt you've come to admire is more the product of her hype than reality. The best character is Doc, which is no surprise given Russell's obvious favor. You don't write two books featuring the same person unless you have some regard. Doc has plenty of warts. He's often hesitant and weak uh, and unsure of himself, but he stands up when necessary alongside and sometimes against Wyatt. His continued relationship with Big Nose Kate has always been a bit inexplicable until you read the book and see the man was simply head over. There's no logic in love. So here we have a platoon of myths laid bare for your perusal. It's not pretty. But it is relieving. There's plenty pairs of clay feet to go around here and the lesson to take is that most of history is people trying to do the right thing while suffering from self-centeredness and obtuseness and downright selfishness, a combination guaranteed to make most things go awry. For example, Doc is accused of planning and participating in a stagecoach robbery that led to the death of a popular driver, except he didn't. But it's politically expedient for some people to promote it and the story takes on life of its own, becoming part of the unfortunate events leading to the OK Corral. 
an exasperated doc quickly discovers that he cannot convince the true believers that he's innocent because they want it to be true, because they hate the guy so much, as events slip out of control. Hmm. Sounds vaguely familiar. D. Krause here. See you later.